I had a patient that unfortunately had a fatal reaction to milk. And I'll never forget the father saying, why did my son die? What did we do that we could have changed this? Then that inspired me to say, we have to make sure that we try to find the cause of food allergies and try to find the cure. Unfortunately, where we are in food allergies today is there are a lot of questions we don't have answers to. Why are food allergies on the rise? What causes food allergies? How do we prevent food allergies? Private donors have a huge role to play in advancing food allergy research. Whether you know someone right now that has food allergy or not, you will in the future. We should all be caring about this. Our work is absolutely focused on developing new treatments for food allergy. I'm really optimistic. We've cured a lot of mice of food allergy and have been able to use that to study different approaches so that we can adjust them better for humans. We were able to identify the population of bacteria that mediates protection. So that provides us with a fantastic platform to test new drugs, to take the allergic microbiome and make it healthy. If we can block these molecules that trigger food allergy, we might have a treatment that will cure not only one food allergy, like peanut, but maybe all of them. I think one of the biggest breakthroughs is the emergence of immunotherapy. With this treatment, and the risk of life-threatening reactions is significantly reduced. There happen to be two products currently in pivotal trials to show both safety and effectiveness. One is that peanut patch that's placed on the skin. The other treatment is an oral immunotherapy. 10 years ago, we weren't talking like this at all. So this is really, really exciting. Hopefully in the next few years, we'll be able to provide real therapies for patients with food allergy. Food allergy doesn't have a cure but FAIR is supporting cutting edge research all across the country, even across the world. To learn more about research advancements and how to help support FAIR's research efforts, go to foodallergy.org research.